This is breaking news. Downfall of Diddy, Hollywood's eerie silence on rapper's investigation, more than a month after Homeland Security raids on scene Diddy Combs properties in Los Angeles and Miami, a new documentary titled The Downfall of Diddy delves into the unraveling of one of hip-hop's most influential figures. The documentary features interviews with Diddy's close confidants and former associates, alongside legal experts discussing the potential outcomes for the billionaire founder of Bad Boy Records. On March 25, the raids connected to a federal human trafficking investigation prompted widespread speculation about Combs' involvement, though it remains unclear if he is the direct target. This comes on the heels of another sexual abuse lawsuit filed against Diddy in February, marking the fourth such case since November. The 2D series The Downfall of Diddy uncovers several major revelations about the music mogul's lifestyle and the current silence from his high-profile circle. The documentary portrays Combs as a central music industry figure known for his extravagant parties and influential friendships. Despite his comments, the support from his allies has notably diminished. Hollywood is eerily and noticeably quiet about the Diddy controversy right now, observed Mark Lamont Hill of BT News. A former CIA officer, Tracy Walder, added, The radio silence around this case is highly unusual, contrasting Diddy's situation with that of R. Kelly, who had early supporters despite his controversies. Commented on the reluctance within Diddy's circle to support him publicly. A lot of these cats, they don't want to be seen standing next to him while that's going on. Rapper Mark Curry suggested that the extensive surveillance in Diddy's homes might be a factor in the silence, hinting at potentially incriminating footage similar to the Jeffrey Epstein case. As former bodyguard Gene Deal noted, the documentary also highlights the breadth of Diddy's connections, including celebrities, politicians, and even royalty. Following the raids, Mary J. Blige hinted at distancing herself from comms after over 30 years of collaboration, emphasizing her newfound boundaries. Aubrey O'Day, another associate, described enduring abuse during her time working with comms, which she said necessitated professional help to overcome. The severity of her experiences was such that she remains hesitant to discuss them in detail. From Ronald Donovan Correctional Facility, Marion Suge Knight expressed his concerns primarily for Diddy's family and the broader impact on hip-hop culture. He stressed the importance of truth-telling for healing and future prevention, despite his disagreements with Diddy. The downfall of Diddy paints a complex portrait of an icon at a crossroads, surrounded by legal troubles and a shrinking support network. The documentary underscores a broader discussion about accountability and the protective silence in the entertainment industry.